it's called. Yep. Get off! Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, that was me. This is a quick tip video about this Fujifilm X-T3. And today I'd like to talk about compression. The most important thing for the end user is when to apply what. There's actually four compression algorithms within the X-T3. One is called H.264, which is your main standard delivery format for full HD material. The H.265 format is better suited for 4K video streaming. But it's also a more complicated compression algorithm. Because you're recording here, uh, the H.264 and H.265 are made for compressing the material to go through all the bottlenecks. So it is not so much a delivery codec as it is a recording codec when it's in the camera. If you record in full HD, H.264, and you're able to get a good picture right out of the box and don't need a lot of grading afterwards, H.264 is fine. If you want to record very complex and detailed things in motion, then H.265 is the way to go. This is where you set up if it should be H.264 or H.265. Then you have two compression formats or algorithms you can choose from, which is all intra and long gop. All intra means that every single frame is treated like an intra frame, which means that every single frame is compressed individually. It takes up a lot of space. If you have an unlimited amount of space on your SD cards and you have big hard disks, by all means go for the H.265, 400 megabits per second and all intra compression. You will get the absolute highest level of quality in the camera. But if you don't have a lot of space and you need to be a bit clever about it, then use the all intra when you are filming very complex scenes like waterfalls close up where a lot of pixels move at the same time when you're panning scenes with a lot of pixels that changes color and they do that when you pan and they do that when stuff is moving around but if you have like a talking head video where all my surroundings don't move you can easily use long gop and long gop actually means long group of pictures and that means that you have keyframes you have a single keyframe and a single keyframe and between those two frames there'll be different algorithms that figures out how to save space and all the things that don't move from this frame to this frame are calculated in the decoding it's just like a calculation instead of being actual pixels that it has to remember so the long gob compression takes up way less space but it's not as detailed as the all intra compression algorithm so if you record a scene like this, you can easily go for the long gob compression and save a lot of space. But if you're doing the real complex stuff, by all means, use the all intra. And you can switch between the two so it actually fits your scene and you'll save a lot of space. And here you choose if you want all intra compression or you want long gob compression. It's all collected in the same menu, so it's pretty easy to find. But just to round it off, all intra, complicated scenes, heavy files, long gob, less complicated scenes, less heavy files. And that's it. See you next time.